I was teaching workshops for Washington tribes and First Nations on seaweed identification and harvesting and cooking. And inevitably, someone would hold up a piece of seaweed. We'd be on the Strait of Juan de Fuca and say, Jenny or Jennifer, is this seaweed safe to eat? Mm -hmm. I mean, there's a tanker going by out there or there's a series of barges and could it possibly have oil on it? What do you think? How much is safe to eat if it is polluted? And I would say, that's such a good question. <laughs> that is a great question. I'd say the next workshop a year later and the next workshop. And I just happened to be telling Joe Gatos this and he took it a step farther. He said, okay, you mean to tell me First Nations and tribes are returning to traditional foods. One of these is seaweed in order to revitalize their food culture. And nobody knows the levels of contaminants because it's been 175 years of industrialization. So there, what are these traditional foods that people are returning to have for all the benefits, but also concerns, especially if they have some kind of um, contaminants. And there had been studies on salmon and spot prawns and halibut and so many other foods that are Salish seafoods, but there wasn't any large scale study on Salish seaweeds. That That's an amazing story. That's like the ultimate, like the need for this is demonstrating itself over and over again in just the daily thing you're doing. And I love that story about that encounter with Joe. That's so good.